Good morning world. Story's off to the logs. I've got a box for some trash collection. Morning Shalako. How are you today? Nice and soft? Oh, very soft and you're so friendly. You're the friendliest one. We're just gonna go for a walk on the beach, okay? You gonna come with us or you gonna stay here? You gonna stay here? This little chill zone was made just before we moved in, so it's brand new. There are some local seamstresses up north that do custom jobs and we were thinking to get some exterior cushions made to go out here. The construction is solid, but it'd be nice to have a proper soft chill zone made out of material that won't matter to get wet. Still showing mum her <laughs> bravery training. Yeah, it worked! She remembers. This is something we've all definitely noticed with Story. She definitely responds more if the lesson is turned into a game. The message just soaks in so much more clearly. Is she gonna do it? This is the highest one. You do the movement too, Story. You do the dance. Wow, well done. Brave girl. Hello. You must be Brownie. You chilling out, doing some guard dogging. Can I stroke you? Yeah? Will you be okay with that? You're soft as well. Nice ears. Look at this. <laughs> Trying to get maximum cool. You doing okay over there? Yeah, watch. I just got a surprise. Whoa, you brave girl. Daddy's school was a success, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely braver than you were yesterday. I can see Blackie chilling out over there. Let's throw that shoe away. It's been there for a few days now, hasn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be a big job, all this cleaning. The waves are much bigger here and on this part of the beach. So I think that's why there's a lot more rubbish because the current brings it. More so where we just were in Santa Fe, it was more gentle, wasn't it? Had a bigger reef. Yeah, and it's a smaller reef with bigger waves, so it's bringing in a lot more. Yeah, although, like I said, this shoe has been here for a few days. Back away. Yeah, it hasn't been taken away. So I'm thinking if we were to just like do a full day cleaning, maybe just weeks and weeks, if it would actually make a difference visually, just being us. Good girl. I want to make it our mission to make this beach look really clean. So many flip flops, Sash, you notice? Yeah. And you can see that all the plastic is really old. Isn't yeah, it? it's been here for a while. Well, it's been in the ocean for a while. Oh, Daddy! I found some bits. Story stuff there. Yeah. She always brings stuff and then doesn't play with it, and we end up carrying it. You can't hide it. You're doing an American accent? Yeah. Not really, I just. Copying, copying my film. Yeah, was it an American film? No, no, Octonauts. Yeah, they're American. <laughs> that, that little... I'm gonna leave these guys in the hammock, pick them up on the way back home. I never know whether to bring sandals or shoes with me. I always regret it when I get to the sand. But there's so many sharp bits everywhere around the world. I think I need a new pair of like those barefoot shoes. Yeah. And there's ones that feel like you're wearing something. I don't like shoes on the beach because then you get sand in the shoe and then it's irritating. you got to yeah. be barefoot on the beach. Yeah, but then just over there, I was trying to climb over these rocks and I was like, oh, I've got to go the long way around now because it is literally sharp. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show the kind of plastics that we're picking up. Well, I would say about 80% of the stuff is like this really worn. There's like old pen caps and things like that. They look like they've been in the sea for a long, long time already. Or been on this beach for a long time. Yeah, or in, you know, sun-worn, weather-worn. Before we decided that we would do this clean-up, we were like, this is gonna take ages, it's gonna be such a big task. But we've actually just cleared this section here, right in front of us, of plastics that we could see, and it didn't take long at all. What, no. half an hour? Less than that, I'd say. Um, we've been dilly-dallying a bit, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, all of that is still, obviously it looks messy, but it's natural material. It's coconut, it's wood, it's bits of charcoal. So we're leaving that. We're just picking up the plastics and stuff that shouldn't be on the beach. Yeah, and then we'll see how it all looks when we've like got maybe a few yeah. months in. Yeah, and yeah. how much comes back every day. I think that's what I'm most yeah. interested in. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Sorry? She's throwing rocks in the rock pools. Ah. <laughs> I think it's a personal challenge for us we want to clean this bit because now we're living here we want to come out here we're going to be looking out our window every day at it we want to look and see 
that we've made a bit of a difference and that it looks nice and we've helped a little bit I think that's like our challenge at the moment it is a very addictive activity to do it once is. you've started isn't it strangely it is yeah. because you just want to get everything once you've put, picked up like a couple of pieces or a couple of plastic bottles and then you see a lid yeah. you know well I have to get that now well it's colours isn't it you yeah. notice things like bright red and blue you just want to get them off of the the beach because it doesn't match what you're looking at yeah you know it's not supposed to be there yeah it's a bit like a game in a way <laughs> yeah i just spotted the green bottle like right there it's the story yeah where's the box it's over here good girl good beach cleanup i'm i'm protecting my my hands of tweezers woohoo beach cleanup is fun isn't it i did what does that look like, Story? H. It looks more like a Y to me. If you turned it upside down, it could be an H. Like a lowercase, yeah, a lowercase H. It's hard to walk past the rubbish now without picking it up, isn't it, Story? <laughs> Should we go and see what's around the corner? We've been thinking about our responsibility as filmmakers, people making videos of this area showing Chargao as a paradise location. Without a doubt, it is very much paradise, but when it's covered in plastic and rubbish, it ruins it. And that's what the locals talk about all the time. That's why the whole zero waste movement is so big here and was something that we very first noticed when we arrived on the island, wasn't yeah. it? It's very prominent. Especially here in this municipality since we've arrived, we've seen posters everywhere saying single-use plastic in this area is prohibited. There's no straws and things like that, plastic mm. bags, plastic cups. So they're definitely making an effort to make a difference here. Yeah. Just before this house move, I was starting to feel a little bit stressed out because I started to feel like people were expecting us to move on to something grand, perhaps something in an even more paradisic location. And visually, I was wondering whether I needed to pretend in a way that that's what moving house meant yeah. but really it's not we, we we sat down with each other and we said no we have to keep this authentic we have to show the realities of living here it's a lovely lovely beach this but it needs cleaning and there are so many beautiful moments to be shared and beautiful scenes to look at around here but we also want you to see that nothing's perfect you know yeah we have to show the reality of everything and even just vlogging on days like this when it's grey when it's raining mm. and showing that side of Chargao because yeah. before lockdown happened you know the, probably most of the videos you would see from this island were your travel vloggers blue skies lovely mm. music perfect sunshine perfect island vibes yeah, tropical. sunlight coming through the palm trees and, and all of that's there exactly. obviously we've shown it in our videos yeah. too and it is like that 80 percent of the time but yeah. we are now living here and it isn't going to be a tropical paradise every single day and i guess in a way it's how you look at things and how you analyze situations because in a way we are moving forward yeah. for ourselves but in a materialistic point of view some people may look at it and go oh well your other house was better yeah or it was closer to a better area yeah, or something you were like that to GL. why would you want to move here when you're further away from everything the local guys Bye. walking through the jungle <laughs> it's a different way of seeing things what have you done Hill. Yeah. And his fins, two fins. Yeah. yeah. And a smiley mouth and a nose and eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Where's his shell? It's here. Yeah, that's right. That's a very creative story. Brilliant work. It was my mum. You built it with your mum? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Would you like to go back home and have some lunch now? Just, I, I just want a popsicle. Oh, you want to have a popsicle? Yeah. The one we made yesterday. Okay, okay, let's go get it. Let's go, Mum. Help me up. Steady, steady. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, like that. on your arms. <gasps> oh, you wanted a <laughs> firewoman carry? Oh. just finishing up the edit for today's video. Story is preparing her 
materials for her lesson tomorrow. Teacher Chi told Story to bring some little toys for her swimming lesson. So Story is just deciding which hard toy she's going to take to the swimming pool, aren't you? I'm, I'm taking the, the, the mummy elephant because she, she, she still doesn't know how to swim. Oh. So I'm going to rescue this today. Okay, you can do that tomorrow, yeah? When she floats away. That's going to be fun. It's a new day and we're sitting in a rainy car just waiting for something and we thought we would do the shout outs now and make the most of the time. So the first shout out request of the day comes from Pamela Zerda and she wants to do a little shout out to Aunt Marcelita. You guys are watching from California in the USA. Oh, hello both of you. Hello both of you. <laughs> the next shout out comes from Freeland Luranana. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a birthday this time, we're it's just, just a shout out. Yeah, we're saying hello. Can you say you. hello, Anglis, look at Ankylosaurus. <laughs> no, no, it's not Ankylosaurus, Agnes. Yeah, that, that sounds like it. <laughs> hello, Hannah and David. Yeah, Froyland's children, Hannah and David. Hello, and hello, Agnes. So the kids are actually living in Pasai City right now, and Froyland is in. Damam KSA and you really miss them so yeah little message to have to bring you guys together a little bit make you feel at home hopefully you'll be together again soon and I miss you too <laughs> the next shout out comes from Gilba Joy Domingo and she wants to do a shout out to Nathaniel Domingo hi Nathaniel happy birthday no just a normal hello hello <laughs> you guys originally from Cavite and you're now living in Singapore you missed the Philippines I'm sure <laughs> Maybe you'll be back here soon. Now we've got a quick fire shout out round two. Glenn Miller, hello. And the Asuman family in Kabuya Laguna. It's from Jipoi. Hello. Nympha Sabellan in Laguna, hello. hello. And Irene and Larry in California from Bell, who's in Manila. <laughs> birthday, Mimi. That's right. Yeah, you finally got to do a happy birthday. <laughs> so that's the last shout out of today. Yes, to Mimi Zalgoza. And this is coming from Maritz, Noel, Chelsea and Jasper in Saudi Arabia. With Jasper, lots of love. Like, like, like Jill and Jasper. Yeah, like Jasper the horse, that's right. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely day, Mimi. Happy birthday. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. Yeah. Be good calm good. and be straight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bye. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. One, two, three, three, four, five. I can do about eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 16, 17, 18,